Okay, hello, good morning. So on today's lecture, we would be discussing some problems regarding um, on how to solve um, unknowns for electric potential, electric potential difference, and electric potential energy. Okay, so first, before we start, let us recall some um, important equations that we might be using uh, all throughout our lecture. Okay, so first, let's start with electric potential energy. As we defined it, it is de describes how much stored energy a charge has when moved by an electrostatic force. Given the equation of um, electric potential energy, UE is equals to K, Q1, Q2 over R squared, where K is our Coulomb's constant, Q1 and Q2 is our charges, and R is the distance between them. Okay, so the equation for electric potential energy is in terms of joule okay next we have electric potential electric potential is simply a measure of electric potential energy per unit charge okay it is in layman's term we know as a voltage and the unit for voltage is volts or joule per coulomb okay so given the equation ue is equals to uh, v is equals to ue or potential energy per unit charge okay so it is also equal to the equation of k multiply by the magnitude of our point charge divided by the distance r, okay? So in terms of um, electric field, uh, we can also calculate voltage in terms of the electric field of a uh, charge or a point charge using the equation V is equals to E delta V, okay? Or the electric field multiplied by the difference of the displacement okay and then lastly we have a potential difference okay potential difference is the measure of electric potent is um the difference of um uh, electric potential from one point and to another okay when work done is when work is done upon a, cha a charge to change its potential energy okay so given the equation delta v is equals to final minus initial or delta V is equals to EV, okay? So, yung sinabi ko kanina. So, now, na na-recall na natin yung mga equations that might be help, helpful for uh, understanding uh, concepts on electric potential. So, now, let's solve our first problem. So, we have a 500 volt and it is applied across two parallel plates separated by 4 millimeter. What is the electric field? Um, what is the force? that will be exerted on a 200 microcoulomb charge and then calculate the final speed and acceleration of a 0.1 gram charge as it moves from rest at one plate to another. Okay, so um, given na dito sa ating diagram, we have two plates. Considering that the first plate is um, have high potential charges, okay, positive charges, and then yung isang plate natin, negative charge. Okay, so sa gitna daw ng plates natin, meron tayong, okay, meron tayong, yeah, point charge. So, ang value ng charge natin is equals to uh, positive 200 microcoulomb. So, the mass of our charge, okay, mass ng charge natin is equals to 0 0.1 gram. Okay, so, i-convert natin to sa kilogram, 1 times 10 raised to negative 4 kilograms okay so the distance be between these two plates is given four millimeters so ang distance natin b is equals to four millimeters so sa meter gamitin natin yung si unit is a four times ten raised to negative three meters so ang una daw natin hahanapin since nakuha na natin lahat ng given uh, volts okay so yung delta v between these two plates is equals to 500 volts. So, yun na lang pala yung kulang. So, ang first unknown, letter A, is um, the electric field. Okay? So, since ito yung charge natin, ang tendency niya, ay, uh, from high potential to low potential, papunta dun sa negative. So, ang electric field natin is yung uh, nasa gitna. So, paano natin siya makukuha um, using the events? So, um, since we know, okay, based dun sa recall natin that delta V, okay, delta V is equals to E multiplied by D. Okay, so yung delta V natin, equivalent po siya sa 500 
Tapos, ang i natin yung unknown, and then the distance is 4 times 10 raised to negative 2. Okay, so divide both sides by the distance, 4 times 10 raised to negative 3. 4 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, ang uh, i natin, so ang value ng e for electric field is equals to... Um, 200, tama ba? 50, uh, 20, 125,000 Newton per coulomb. So, ito yung unang unknown natin. Second is um, we are going to calculate the force. Okay? Force exerted on a 200 microcoulomb charge. Okay? Doon sa previous discussion natin, so pwede natin makuha yung force using the electric field, using the equation F is equals to E multiplied by Q. So, alam na natin yung E is 125,000 newton per coulomb. So, i-multiply natin sa value ng charge, which is positive 200 micro coulomb. Ang micro ay negative 6 coulomb. So, matitira po tayo ng value ng force, which is 25, okay, 25 newtons. Ayan. And then lastly, um, calculate the acceleration and final speed okay, of um, 0.1 gram charge okay, at, as it moves from rest okay, and um, to one plate to another. Okay? So, unahin po muna natin dyan is yung acceleration. Makukompute po natin yung acceleration using um, Newton second law. Okay? Yung F is equals to MA. Okay? Na-calculate na natin yung force, which is 25 newton. Ang mass ng object natin or yung charge particle natin is 1 times 10 raised to negative 4 kilogram. Okay? So, makakompute natin yung acceleration. Okay? Divide both sides by 1 times 10 raised to negative 4. 1 times 10 raised to negative 4. Acceleration would be equal to 250,000 meters per second squared. Okay, so next, um, pwede na natin makalculate using this. We have uh, the final speed. We have two uh, ways on solving the final speed. Pwede po ang gamitin natin is yung kinematic equation. Pwede naman ang gamitin natin is work energy theorem. So unahin po muna natin yung sa kinematic equation using um, Vf squared is equals to V naught squared plus 2AD. So, alam natin at rest yung ating object. So, ang initial velocity is equals to zero. Ang hinahanap po natin is final speed. Okay? So, Vf squared is equals to zero squared plus yung nakalculate natin na um, acceleration, 250,000. Okay? Lagay ko na lang dito sa baba. Yung distance is um, 4 times 10, 4 millimeters, negative 3 meters. Okay? So, square root nito makukuha na natin yung VF. So, the value of our final speed is equals to 44.72 meters per second. So, pwede po rin po natin magamit yung work energy theorem. Okay? So, paano po? So, work is equals to, we have positive work when the kinetic energy is um, changing. So, work is equals to delta Ke. So, ang Definitely, ang um, equation natin for work for quantum particles is equals to um, Q, okay, delta V, okay, and then Ke, okay, dun sa ating general physics 1 is equals to 1 half mv squared, okay. So, um, ang value ng Q natin is um, 200 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, yung V natin, delta V natin is equal po siya sa 500 volts. So, 1 half, ang mass ay um, 1 times 10 raised to negative 4, okay? And then, velocity squared, okay? So, divide both sides by um, 0 0.5, okay? So, 1 half, 1 times 10 raised to negative 4, 1 half, 1 times 10 raised to negative 4. Okay? Tapos square root natin. Yan. Square root natin. So, makakompute rin po natin final speed or uh, velocity 
is 44.72 meters per second. Okay, same lang din yung magiging answer. So, yun. Okay, now let's move on with our um, second problem. So, we have here a charge which has um, the uh, radial, okay? So, yung charge natin, yung arrows na to, yung red arrows indicates the electric field, okay? Ano po yung bilog na nakapalibot sa kanya? Yung bilog na nakapalibot sa kanya is what we call the equipotential lines or equipotential surface. So, the name equipotential surface is given to a surface consisting of a continuous distribution of points having the same electric potential and equipotential surface are always perpendicular to electric field lines. So, ginagamit po natin kadalasan yung um, equipotential surface para makapag-locate po tayo at ma masukat po natin yung distance, okay, between our two points, okay? So, for example, this is point A and this is point B. Nagkataon lang, naka-place siya sa isang electric field, pero supposedly, para ma-measure natin yung distance between them, okay, gumagamit po tayo ng equipotential surfaces, okay? But, uh, in, so, hahanapin muna natin yung voltage at point A, tapos yung voltage at point B, para makuha natin yung difference between them. So, let's start with um, finding voltage at point A. So, ang equation natin of a voltage is um, equal to sa KQ over R. Okay? KQ over R. So, ang K po natin, equal po siya sa 9 times 10 raised to positive 9 multiplied by the charge of our uh, ibinamit ating test charge, which is 1.6. Okay? Charge ng ating electrons, negative 19 coulomb. Okay, over yung distance daw nitong ating test charge dito sa ating point charge, A is 125, uh, 2.5 rather, times 10 raised to negative 11 meters. So, voltage at point A is equal to 56, okay, 50, ah, sorry, 57.6 volts, okay? And then, voltage at point B, same lang din, KQ2 uh, over R, so, ang K natin is 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiplied by 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19. Pero ang distance na gagamitin natin ay ito, 4.2 times 10 raised to uh, 12. Positive, uh, negative 12. Negative po ito. Negative, negative. Negative 12. Okay? So, VB is equals to 34.2 volts. Okay? So, in finding the dif potential difference between these two points, so, um, dun tayo sa initial or final minus initial. So, ang final dito, itong point B. Okay? So, VB minus VA. Bakit po final yung point B? Kasi siya po yung pinakamalayo. Okay? Malayo dun sa uh, point charge. Okay? So, ang VB natin is 34.2 minus 57.6. Okay? Delta V, kapag nag, uh, kunwari yung test charge natin is a positive test charge, ang tendency niya mag-repel, okay? VB is negative 23.4 volts. Kaya po siya negative. If ever na kunwari yung uh, test charges natin is um, negative, so mag a siya, so ang final po natin ay A, tapos ang um, uh, initial natin ay B. Okay? So, um, mapapansin po natin na kapag nag-increase po, okay, nag-increase yung value ng ating uh, distance, mas lumiliit po yung ating okay, voltage. So, meaning, there, um, inversely proportional ang distance sa value ng ating voltage or potential difference. Okay? So, pag dami naman yung charges na hinahanapan natin or pagtaas ng value ng charge natin, pagtaas din ng value ng electric potential. Kasi um, it is directly proportional with our electric potential. Okay, then lastly, we have this um, circuit geometry. Okay, we have a system here and we are going to calculate the total potential, electric potential at this point P, okay, of the system. Okay. So, paano po natin kukunin yan? So, kukunin po muna natin yung electric potential at our three charges. And then, yung individual potential natin. So, para makuha natin yung Vt, kailangan natin makuha yung V1, 
plus V2 plus V3. Okay? So, kunin natin yung distance nito dito. Okay? At point P. So, 6 at saka 8 using Pythagorean theorem ang makakalculate po natin dyan is um, 10 meters. Tapos, uh, from point 3 to point P, okay? Pythagorean theorem ulit, 8 at saka 15. Okay? It is 17 meters. Pero supposedly, um, hindi po siya equilateral ha. Mukha lang siyang equilateral dito kasi pantay-pantay yung ginamit kong lines. But in reality, mas mahaba po talaga ito. So, mas mahaba siya. So medyo hindi lang ka siya yung calculation sa atin pag ganun yung ginawa. Okay? So now let's um, solve yung, uh, since alam na natin yung distance between our point P and our individual charges, so pwede na natin i-compute yung individual potential. So KQ1 over R. Okay, 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiplied by 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 kasi micro over distance between them is 10. Okay, V1 is equals to um, 900 volts. V2, okay, is equals to KQ2 over R. Okay, is equals to 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiplied by negative 2 times 10 raised to negative 6 over Okay, why why negative na yung ginamit ko dito? Okay, bakit po dati nakasanayan natin positive? Bakit po kay electric potential, naglagay na po tayo ng negative? Because electric potential is a scalar quantity. So, hindi po nakadepende si, si potential sa direction kung magre-repulse o mag attract siya. So, nakadepende po siya sa value ng charge. So, that's why we have to indicate kung ano yung sign niya. Okay? So, negative, ang sagot po dito ay negative 200, okay, 200, uh, 2,250 volts. Okay? So, wag malilito. Okay? Electric potential, scalar po si electric potential. Okay? Scalar. So, ilalagay po natin kung ano yung original sign ng ating charge. Okay? And then, last, V3. KQ3 over R. Okay, 9 times 10 raised to 9 multiply by 3 times 10 raised to negative 6 over um, 17. Okay, so V3 is equals to positive 1588.2353. 1, 2353 volts. Now, meron na tayong individual potential dun sa points na hinahanapan natin. So, pwede na natin makuha yung VT. Okay, VT is equals to 900 plus negative 2250 plus 1588.2353 okay vt is equals to 238 or the potential at point p e is equals to 238 okay 0.2353 Box. Okay, so that would be all. Now, alam na natin kung paano yung mga techniques and um, uh, in solving uh, electric potential, electric potential energy, and electric potential difference. Okay, so um, ma sana magamit nyo itong mga techniques na to in solving your activity sheets. Okay, so that would be all for this lecture. Goodbye and thank you and see you again.